steak. It's that's S T A K E, not S T E A K. And now there's a new form of cyber matchmaking, college networking websites. Is this perhaps the next big thing? In Hartford, Dan Stillman, co-creator of Wesleyan University's Westmatch.com, and then in Watertown, Massachusetts, Mark Zuckerberg, creative, creator of Harvard's TheFacebook.com. Uh, and I guess we'll start uh, with you, Dan. What compelled you to do this? Uh, well, sophomore year, I was... Uh sitting around contemplating a romantic dry spell um, and I realized that with my friend Matt and uh, I realized that it would be easier to find a girlfriend if I could just search in a database for what I wanted. Did it work? One, two, We're still perfecting three. it. Yeah. That's what Westmatch is, right? This is something where people enter all of their information on questionnaires that they kind of fill out for you. Yeah, Tell us just a little bit about what Westmatch is. Sure. People, uh, students at, at our school and uh, now several other schools, um, they log onto the site and they answer an in-depth and humorous questionnaire about what they're looking for in others and they describe themselves and they say what's important. And then our site comes back and tells them they're most compatible people in the entire school. Um, and now, uh, since we've started to expanding to other schools, they can now test their compatibility and do other things with students across the nation. Okay, Mark, we want to get you in here in a second, but real quickly, we do want to talk about what Dan's talking about, some of those questionnaires that, uh, that you ask people about. Let's just take a look real quickly at some of them. First of all, one of the potential questions, awareness of current events. You could check off one of these. George Bush was that guy that did that thing with that intern. Well, like, I read the news on occasion, and I read the news every day. So there's some of the It's a sort of contemporary evaluation of, uh, of what's going on. M Mark, if somebody was to put the question to you about the, the magnitude of what you think you've launched, how big do you think your product or your service is? Well, it's impossible to tell. When we first launched, we were hoping for, you know, maybe 400, 500 people. Harvard didn't have a Facebook, so that's the gap that we were trying to fill. And now we're at 100,000 people, so who knows where we're going next. Um, we're hoping to have many more universities by the fall, hopefully over 100 or 200. And from there, we're going to launch a bunch of site applications, which should keep people coming back to the site and maybe could make something cool. What is the Facebook exactly? It's an online directory that connects people through universities and colleges through their social networks there. You sign on, you make a profile about yourself by answering some questions entering some information such as your concentration or major at school, um, contact information about phone numbers, instant messaging screen names, anything you want to tell, interests, what books you like, movies, and most importantly who your friends are. And then you can browse around and see who people's friends are and just check out people's online identities and see how people portray themselves and just find some interesting information about people. Dan, do you make any money? Uh, we do. We license the site to other schools and we run the site and provide it for them for the semester for all of their students. We actually create a, a customized site for their school so it feels like a uh, personal, you know, personal customized site that you know, is not some sketchy dating site that, that people might not use but really feels like something that everyone in the community can do. And we have between 70 and 90 percent of all the schools we're on are on the site. Okay. Dan Stillman, uh, Mark Zuckerberg with us talking about uh, the online social networking business. Do stay with us. Bullseye continues on CNBC right after this.